What is going on, fire signs? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Touche, Jermaine, 336 Tarot here. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right. Of course, y'all with the sage, setting the intention to cleanse, remove, protect, and purify our space, our energy, the cards, and our org fields of any and all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy sent intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves. Okay, very good, fire signs. How are y'all doing today? I hope you are having a fantastic day. All right, so coming in with your weekly vibe and energy forecast. All right, next seven days, see what we got going on. Um, before we jump into the cards, of course, we are going to go ahead and hit our meditation, clear the energy, make us open and receptive to spirit, and then we will go from there, okay? fire signs let's go let's jump in let's see what we got going on this week um in meditation right now i did hear like making sure self-empowerment self-empowerment oh my nose is itching uh self-empowerment making sure you're standing in your power remembering who you are fire signs like this has been um sorry y'all my nose is itching a running theme like we got to make sure we're standing in our power being authentic okay and not being afraid to take risks is also what I heard in meditation, okay? So, we are going to jump in with spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, and angels of the highest and purest light vibration and energy and see what we got going on for this week, okay? As we're getting the cards out here, y'all, remember this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not, all right? Um, you can use this for your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus, any part of your chart that you know, or you can watch on behalf of somebody else, okay? Uh-oh, wait a minute. Y'all want both of these? Nope, they said the bottom one. Very good. Um any part, watch for somebody else, whatever you need to do, right? And even if you don't have fire in your chart, if you found this message, then it was for you. It was meant for you to receive a message because there's always a message in the message, right? Um, whether you got fire or any other signs in your chart, you can always receive a word because they are channeled messages, all right? All right, very good, fire sign. So, timeless reading, y'all know that. So, when you find it, it was meant to find you. So, Take ownership of it. Receive the energy, okay? And we're doing, uh-oh, do y'all want that? Second spot, they said. We're doing seven cards, seven days, y'all, before we end with a tarot and an oracle card. And then we'll, uh-oh, jump into some uh, guidance, right? And see how spirit is helping to navigate us. All right. What is the vibe? What is the energy from a fire sign spirit? What is the vibe? What is the energy from a fire sign that's five. That's six. That's seven. Oh no, they said, wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, bottom of the deck. The seven cards. Okay. Child, let me get my cards in order and then the potential future outcome over here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab some guidance cards and see what spirit, what kind of guidance spirit wants us to have and to give us. Oh, y'all, I got to warm up my tea. It is it is lukewarm now, and I don't, I don't want it to be. 
All right, what is the vibe? What is the energy for my fire sign spirit? As we're getting the oracle cards out here, y'all, if you have not already, go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me to get these messages out to whoever needs to hear them. Um, and even if it's just one person, I am truly grateful for that, right? Um, always a blessing, okay? All right, y'all, let's go. Let's jump in. And y'all go, y'all know y'all got to work with me. My camera's in a new place. I'm recording in a new environment. Um, so I'm still trying to get my autofocus together. Okay, well, let's jump in, y'all, and see what we have. This is so funny. Um, the dog just came up in the weekly, and so y'all make sure y'all check that out as well. Okay, so you have the dog that is coming in, friend. Um, today, I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and a friend. Okay, so this is, look, they got a whole pack of them surrounding them. And even though you have dogs, you also have a wolf that's standing back there as well. It looks like a wolf to me. Um, so this is protecting yourself, protecting what you've owned, what you've developed, um, and this is having a circle of friends around you, people who are willing to support you and help you and um, uplift you, knowing that you are not alone as you traverse through this week. OK, you have support. You have loyal friends. Loyalty is the thing. Um, you have loyal friends who are going to be around you, support you, uplift you and who are enthusiastic about enthusiastic about your growth, um, new beginnings, new opportunities. OK. Also, make sure that you're showing unconditional love to yourself. Make sure you're pouring into yourself this week, fire signs, tapping into those emotions, into that intuition, um, nurturing yourself. Look, Venus went retrograde yesterday. So part of the, these readings are like a combination full moon, Venus retrograde and winter solstice reading. OK, so this is some of the energy that we can expect. That's the intention I set. Whatever we need to know as all of these things are happening, it's a very powerful time right now. Um, so make sure that it's like everyone's getting prepared to step into these new cycles and new seasons of growth and new beginnings. Okay. Don't be afraid to take risks. Um, also acting on any inspirations that you may have, any ideas, any wisdom, making sure that you're acting on that. Okay. They're showing me like ace of wands. Okay. So we're starting out with the five of pentacles this week, fire signs. This is financial hardship, um, loss. This is being feeling left out in the cold. So if you've been feeling like you are struggling and alone, understand that that is not something that is going to last. And even if you, you you're you calling your soul tribe to you is what they're showing me on this. OK, you're calling your soul tribe in. Look, the, the lights all on everything. Y'all don't even know how I can. If that'll help or not, we'll see calling in your soul tribe do not feel like you are unsupported and you do not have people who will help you to navigate fire signs because you do um this is also coming out of like changing your mindset really going within like venus is focused is making us focus on our values and what we hold true to ourselves so spirit is saying what do you stand on what if you have like a lack or scarcity mindset the spirit is wanting you to change that way of thinking um even if you are going through a period right now where things feel a little bleak or that they are not moving the way that you want them to spirit is saying this is temporary it's not going to last forever okay <laughs> come in with the high priestess energy priestess of light coming in your light shines for others the world is your oyster powerful look you better know you know how to manifest fire signs people i think the queen of wands they're showing me um i think the queen of wands is one of the most underrated intuitives in the all of tarot um we asso associate the like, intuition with the moon and um water signs but the queen of wands on the traditional queen of wands has a black cat that is next to her so does the queen of wands i'm the king of wands in some decks um this is your intuition. This is trusting that inner knowledge and wisdom, knowing when to make calculated moves that came up in the collective, um, the weekly vibe and energy forecast for everyone, um, knowing how to make calculated moves, calculated decisions, right? So the high priestess, the priestess of light, this is trusting your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, your inner guidance. Let your light shine, fire signs. You are fire. You are the, the spirit. That is what fire is, right? It's the spirit. It's 
the will being willing to take action look how she's holding this orb of power in her hand the light shining so bright you can't even really just see it right okay very good that was cute i don't know where it came from but thank you truly grateful spirit um do not let anyone diminish your light do not let any negative circumstances situations people anybody diminish your glow remember your power remember who you are remember i told you that that they showed me that self-empowerment in this the meditation it's like you even if you're going through something that feels like a hardship a loss or having to let go of someone this is going to pass do not let do not allow that to take you out of your light okay very good come on with balance coming in and patience with the temperance card um knowing like walking your purpose um being in balance being in a state of harmony creating as well creating change in your life knowing that you have the power to do that you have angelic support that's coming in I told you the ancestor spirit guys coming in to help and assist this is maintaining self-control as well do not let people pull you out of character let me tell you it's very easy because there's a lot of energy that's going on right now so just remember the power remember the power of standing in your um in your own energy and not allowing people to sway you or pull you somewhere that you don't want to be okay <laughs> with the guidance card we have futuristic that's coming in um a futuristic view of the world modern and unique ideas ahead of your time so what they're showing me on this y'all is like creating things that people hadn't even thought of yet um inspiring ideas i think we talked did we talk i said maybe the ace of wands like knowing that you have the power and ability to, ability to create things that ain't even they don't even exist yet right futuristic living making calculated moves creating and balancing now for things that are going to benefit you in the future okay um they're showing me like you're an old soul and you're but, but the, you're here to learn like specific lessons specific lessons to balance you out and it's a matter of remembering those lessons so that you can step into a better brighter future okay <laughs> come on look the star stepping into your star power right no this is how this is hope healing this is this is knowing um that you are doing what you're supposed to do this is creativity if you are like public you may have like this a youtube channel um inspiration again they're showing me that ace of wands again like we're like um owning that and using your passion you're the, like especially leos out there leo y'all are extremely creative fifth house energy is creative right they're also showing me like sacral energy um this is like the empress this is knowing that knowing how to create you doing something with the ideas that you're receiving the star is also about self-confidence courage being assertive um being enthusiastic as well oh come on look you have independence coming in with your star card so this is doing things knowing your power look look at the black cat that just showed up y'all remember i was just talking about that on the queen of wands um this is being independent doing being fiercely independent and not because you don't want companionship but just knowing that um you are able to do things by yourself with this uh independence card that's coming in this says explore new territory possessing magical powers and follow your intuition told y'all it's like you have to remember the power and the strength that you possess and that no one can take that away from you okay so remember your power remember your worth um remember that remember who you are tap in with your intuition okay when you are feeling low and don't know what's going on feeling kind of defeated get still get quiet really tap in with yourself and listen to your intuition and see what your intuition is telling you okay um don't be afraid to take oh look thank you spirit don't be afraid to take risks don't be afraid to do something out of your norm step out of your comfort zone fire signs um take a but it just make sure that it's a calculated risk something that ain't gonna leave you messed up message make calculated moves um i was just talking about and i've been saying this in the last several readings for several signs i can't i think i just said it again in the collective in the weekly vibe and energy um chestnut checkers 
Test not checkers. I've been telling a lot of people that. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups coming in in next, y'all. This is walking away. Letting go, moving on, whether it's from people, places, things, situations, emotions, the way you talk to yourself, whatever it is, we are walking away. Um, this is, it's like... You have to let go of something in order to make room for something new, something better. Not being afraid to take the next step on the journey. You may be traveling as well, um, moving into um, or moving into better times is what they just said. Like moving onto a different path. So you may be completely moving into something that you weren't doing before. You may be trying something completely new. Remember we talked about taking risks. So it's like don't be afraid to take risks, right? Don't be afraid to step into something new. This is also so you may have to abandon one thing in order for something else to to flourish and be great. Um, this is also about like self-discovery with this. They're showing me, they're bringing me back to the star card as well. Self-discovery, remembering who you are, the power that you possess. Okay. Look, you have <laughs> the masculine coming in. A man will play a role. Your masculine side, masculine energy. Look, fire signs. Y'all know that fire energy is masculine energy. So where you may have been in... um you, this is taking action is what they are showing me like taking action using your fire energy to make things happen but that doesn't have to it's like still sitting with yourself listening to yourself and and that inner knowing right it's like they're showing me the balance of these two things they're showing me the balance of um ooh, not that one hold on y'all <laughs> like your masculine and your feminine creating balance within yourself, listening to your high priestess on the inside, moving without, okay? Listen within, move without. That is like one of my mantras that I say to myself all the time. Listen within with your high priestess, move without. Let your high priestess navigate you um, and help you make the moves that you need to make, okay? And maybe calling in someone who's also going to assist with that to help you really rediscover your power and your self-worth and, and rebuild that confidence in you, okay? Someone who's going to um, help you to be more independent as well, okay? We have the Seven of Cups coming in next. Um, choices, opportunities. This is also confusion. So you have to get clear, but the Seven of Cups is also about creativity. Um, but this is also about focusing on one thing, not trying to do too much at one time. So be clear. Remember we were talking about um, you may have to abandon one thing in order to move into something else. There is nothing wrong with trying multiple things, multiple avenues, but it's about if you know that something just is not working, whether this is a job relationship, um, then it may be time to let go of that and just do something different, right? See if you can have a better outcome. Um, this is all they're also showing me like new opportunities coming in. Like you're going to have options, like a bunch of options that you're going to have to make things to, or things that are going to come into you, like all different types of abundance. Okay. <laughs> come on with the breakthrough, right? Look, I've never, of course, y'all, these are new cards. So I've never really pulled any of these cards. Breakthrough coming in. Look how this person is coming. It, it's like, they're just a ball of light. They're just, they're just light. There's a person that is coming, um, out of the top message of this of these pyramids this is a breakthrough a significant breakthrough escaping from what you what controlled you um an important development a breakthrough to success they're also showing me like the chariot on this as well so this is knowing that you have new beginnings and new opportunities that are coming in remember we talked about that on the seven of cups it's like you have to believe that things are not always going to be the way that they have always been you're walking into more opportunities new beginnings blessings abundance whatever abundance is for you it's like you're really calling that energy into yourself and you're not afraid to move forward um you're seeking meaning within yourself you're seeking and this is a breakthrough you may be in therapy and have a breakthrough um but this is like an important development that is going to happen towards the latter part of this week 
and don't be afraid of it really when when you have these new opportunities and situations that come in towards you um really tap in and see how you feel how does it make you feel right um not what it makes you think how does it make you feel does it give you a sense of trepidation does it give you a sense of happiness joy peace contentment whatever it is make sure that you're trusting how it actually makes you feel on a physical level okay um tapping in with your spirit self okay <laughs> you have the four of pentacles coming in next um we cannot hold on y'all we cannot hold on this is um holding on too tightly and also it's like they're showing me like a fear of let oh my goodness that scared me y'all y'all see me jump hold on wait a minute <laughs> look child i'm jumping and everything i forgot i had a whole video loading anyway real life tarot um four pentacles you can't hold on mess <laughs> spirit got jokes you can't hold on to something they're showing me like you holding on too tightly for fear of um, not having stability, security, um, but you are going to hold on to that. So you have to, to know and believe that even if you're going through these hard times right now, you will come out victorious on the other side. It's about making the choice to walk through these difficulties, deal with them, use your intuition to let them guide you and know that a breakthrough is coming. So you don't have to hold on. You don't have to like be the miser that's in the four of pentacles, right? You can let go because letting go and surrendering to spirit um, is what is going to help bring in these new beginnings and new opportunities. Okay. Independence. Look, like I said, sovereignty coming in um, position of power, high status, something or someone majestic and air of superiority. L air signs. I'm sorry. Fire signs. Y'all know, look, you might have some air in your chart like I do. Um, you you have to know and own your independence and know and own your power and keep yourself in a position of power and authority um this is knowing clear knowing right knowing what you know knowing your power knowing your strength is what they are showing me so this is and they're showing me like all this gold that is around her as well so this is putting yourself into a higher, more elevated status, elevated position, um, building firm foundations as well. This is, and, and um, this message like Leo's out there, there's a fine line between be our ego and, and like, how can I say this? Um, knowing your ego and, and not letting your ego rule because with leos you know a lot of times we have this level of superiority but it's about knowing the difference between simply standing up for yourself and standing in your power versus being like an ego maniac thank you spirit um so just remember that we're not living we're not coming from a place of ego we're coming from a place of authenticity and knowing our power without having to um like powerfully or overcome people with our power does that make sense i hope that made sense to y'all i don't know <laughs> look eight of pentacles is coming in next y'all this is self this is my card of self-development um and and works workmanship uh, like apprentice this is really honing your skills your gifts your talents mastery and also being committed um this is willing to do the work point blank period y'all you have to be willing to do the work to step into this this star energy to step into this abundance that's showing up on this sovereignty card and to have this breakthrough we all have to put in the work yes things will things we miracles happen every single day we all know this but we still have to put in the work we have to meet spirit halfway um building on your craft if you are at a job and you know that and you like your job and you enjoy it make sure that you're showing up doing the best that you can do when you go to work okay <laughs> you got things to do with the soul mission card that's coming in look he looked like the death card in the star seed i mean in the um star seers light seers deck um 
find your own path in life, discovering your soul mission path of knowledge. So we're all here to live different lives and, and, and do different work. So this is following the, the, the calling of your soul so that you are completing what you said you was going to do when you first wanted to come down here this time, right? Um, living, walking your own path, doing what you want to do and not living by anyone else's rules, okay? Fire signs, that's going to be extremely important. Come on, spirit with the ace of cups as the... Uh, potential future outcome this is uh, overflowing pouring into yourself new beginnings like you may have a love situation or opportunity that is coming in towards you again another card talking about inspired creativity um loving on yourself make sure you're nurturing and taking care of yourself okay um but follow your random hits of like when you feel like you should do something or say something or create something do it because guess what why not all right so guidance from spirit first card out look some of y'all might have a secret admirer out there with the vase coming in y'all might have somebody look with this ace of cups right here y'all may have someone who wants to come in and offer you some beautiful things might be getting some flowers this week to put inside your vase <laughs> right um so you might have somebody out there that's got their eye on you okay so that's for some of y'all out there <laughs> we have nest coming in next right let's see nest this says an emotionally secure loving family is important to you so these this is like um building a safe space for yourself is what they are showing me on this um somewhere where you can relax and nest and kind of be comfortable and um be in your own energy of course y'all the holidays are coming up we are going to be spending some time with family what else spirit i'm just gonna go ahead and get the cards out of here that they want me to have instead of doing this individually all right and then we'll see what we got going on um so a lot of us or a lot of y'all are going to be spending time with family for the holidays because of course christmas is in just a couple of days so really enjoy that enjoy that time that you're going to spend with your loved ones and your family um and just live in the moment enjoy the moment right that is what they were just saying in my head okay <laughs> you have dark woman look for those of y'all with the admirer out there you have dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair it might be you i'm not sure of course because i can't see y'all but um this may be someone who comes in to remember we talked about um like someone who comes in who also expires you who also helps you to um maybe walk away from difficult situations again message someone who like we talked about therapy you may have a breakthrough that happens in therapy so just this could be anyone um this is also facing your shadows is what they just said with this dark woman card like facing your shadows facing the things that you keep repressed and like keep bottled up they just showed me thank you spirit um with this coming up next to the base it's like the things that you keep bottled up the shadows they're wanting you to you might have to really just like face your shadows right face what you don't like to see <laughs> look i told y'all temporary earlier you have the clouds we also talked about confusion this says temporary problems we talked about any problems situations obstacles it is temporary it is not going to last forever it is not the what you are going to be living for the rest of your existence okay so you have to trust in that this is coming out of a period of confusion as well like we talked about on this seven of cups really getting clear and look the sun is coming up behind the clouds it's like you are not going to be in the clouds forever okay <laughs> and you're not gonna have obstacles or misunderstandings that are gonna happen forever forever but this is walking your path we talked about this that's with this wall card um walking away from misunderstandings drama confusion like look i don't have time to deal with that i'm trying to live in my highest energy and be the best i can be <laughs> okay so don't you may hit some brick walls is what they are saying if you have hit a brick wall before understand that you will find a way around there is more than one way to make things happen okay so spirit is saying trust in that trust that you will know how to navigate and move forward okay all right what else spirit what other guidance do we have all right y'all let's see what we got all right so first secure the bag 
mm, secure the bag okay we have the bag that's coming in look ain't nobody playing we about our money go especially if you got capricorn uh because we finna go into capricorn season right securing the bag um it's something important such as a new job or a raise <laughs> told y'all new opportunities new beginnings coming in we after we we we're making our money we're calling in we're manifesting we have things that we're trying to do like with this ace of cups is coming in look this is the cup the cup is overflowing and she poured the, the money in the cup out the bag okay <laughs> so just know that you have that this this is coming into you remember they showed me gold on this card as well so financially it's like you're working towards financial independence walking away from oh thank you spirit um walking away from this five of pentacles energy this lack and scarcity mindset okay and a lot of us have to deal with that we have to change our relationship with money the way we think about money um and that can be hard to do. It can actually be difficult because we don't realize how we actually feel about money or what our relationship with money is. So that may be something that you're tasked to work on this week. Okay, fire signs. <laughs> you have the bow that's coming in. You are highly thought of. Look, told y'all with this secret admirer y'all got going on. <laughs> so just know that not just with other people outside of yourself, but spirit is wanting you to think highly of yourself know how powerful you are we've been talking about that from the beginning like no remember the strength and wisdom that you possess spirit thinks highly of you you have people outside of yourself who think highly of you as well okay broken wishbone coming in um this says wish will not be granted dang spirit coming through like that no but <laughs> what they're showing me on this y'all is you may be walking away from something, someone um, that at one point you thought was really going to be, it was like a wish for you. It was a dream come true. But it's like now you know that this was not actually something that was right for you. So you're being called and spirit is helping you to walk away from it because this is not a part of your path. So it's like you may be, it's like see the silver lining is what they're showing me. See the silver lining and know that if something is being like if it was a wish that you had or something you're trying to manifest it may not come to fruition simply because it is not for your highest good okay look y'all got another card about a woman and some of y'all this is not gender specific okay this is this is not a gender specific so it's about the energy so you may have look options okay even with this seven of cups you have the because the, you have the dark woman and the woman that is coming in so this is they're showing me like light and dark um as well and they're also showing me options so you may have a couple of options if you're looking for love fire signs so just know um just because that says energy not reading it as as a woman per se but just knowing that you're gonna have some options for some people who may be coming in okay people who are actually a part of your soul purpose in your path okay very good anything else spirit all right they said one spirit message for you guys and then we will get our final word of guidance for this week okay all right what is the final no it's not the final word <laughs> soul solitude um this says your soul needs attention that's the first thing it says your soul needs attention there are moments when it's important to get away not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. Thank you, Spirit. Remember, I was saying that having a place, a safe haven, a nest. Where's my nest card? Having a place where you can be at peace and experience joy, whether it's in your home, whether it's somewhere else. It is very important to create this safe space and safe haven for yourself. Okay. Um, a place for soul solitude. Sometimes you just got to spend some time by yourself, okay? This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. So remember I said with this Ace of Cups pouring into yourself this week, Fire Signs, it's like, look, you need some downtime. You have to walk away from any drama, any foolishness, any anybody who is trying to, um, or any anybody or anything, let me say that, who is trying to keep you um, in a state of, 
this five of pentacles energy right this um feeling sorry for yourself um making you think about all the negative things in your life like we ain't work we're not doing that this week but this is definitely a week of self-reflection for you guys okay um and creating that balance and harmony within yourself okay oh look thank you they said like that we talked about on the temperance card all right very good fire sign so final word of guidance anything that we um didn't talk about in the reading or anything additional that spirit would like for us to talk about this week what's the final word of guidance spirit for my fire signs uh oh <laughs> I'm laughing because I actually saw this card at the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling and now we have that card. So I should have just said it in the first place, right? I should they said you should have just took it. Should have just took it. But look at the sun on this card, right? You have number 16 light that is coming in. This says the sun is the source of all life on earth. Without the sun, plants could not grow and humans would cease to exist. In the same way, you have a sun radiating from within your heart. Living your life through your heart means acting on your passions, speaking your truth, and being your authentic self, no matter the people or circumstances surrounding you. Every time you compare yourself to someone else, diminish yourself, or ignore your needs to please others, a cloud forms around your heart, obscuring its pure life-giving energy. Let me just stop and say, can we talk about how we had the clouds to come in? Can we can we talk about that? Never mind. Remembering your light, right, on this star card. Your dreams and desires are waiting patiently behind dark clouds that are preventing... Wait a minute. Let me just bring it up so we can get some clarity in this camp okay your dreams and desires are waiting patiently behind dark clouds that are preventing your heart from spreading light throughout your soul do not look to others to tell you who you should be only you can manifest the future you desire futuristic remember told y'all come through spirit um your heart will shine its guiding light outward Sending nourishment to the people, things, and opportunities that will help you shine. Wealth, loving relationships, health, and fulfilling jobs will be yours. Your light is a beacon for all your hopes and dreams, drawing them to you. Listen, fire signs, I told y'all you better remember your light. You better remember who from where you came. Remember your spirit self. Tap into your light energy, y'all. Tap into the the essence of who you are. Okay? Very good, fire signs. I hope that this was helpful for y'all. And until next time, y'all, if this resonated, make sure you hit the, thump, the thumbs up. Um, give me a like so we can share this message. And I am sending y'all love, light, and healing energy. All right? Bye, y'all.